Uh, today I'm going to talk about the two dimensions of uh, human beings and the uh, Bible refers human beings as image of God. So God has made us in his own image and likeness. In other words, we have the DNA, the oxygen-nucleic axiom of God himself. And uh, we have all the qualities and the characteristics of God himself. God is kind, merciful, rich in forgiveness, generous. So all that. So we are sharing the same characteristic of God himself. So we need to behave like God. Image of God means we have the lifestyle of God himself. But what do you see now? The human history for the past three million years, our human prehistory, at least we know at least 10,000 years of our human history from the Neolithic times, that is 10,000 years back, 10,000 BC, that is the time man stopped his hunters and gatherers lifestyle and he settled and he invented agriculture and farming, settlement, villages, that kind of stuff. So from that time onwards, we pretty much know about human beings, how they behaved. Uh, we have a pretty good record of it. There are cave paintings, there are uh, archaeological evidence and uh, fossils uh, that can talk about human behavior. But the, for the past 2,000 years, I think the history has seen the bad part of humanity, selfishness, capitalism, religious fundamentalism, and globalization, slavery, colonialism, World War I, II, and right now, the war against creation, the kingdom of God is under attack. Only one species on earth, human beings, we don't obey the laws of ecology, the laws of cosmology. Human beings think that we are above the law. We need not follow the law of ecology. Rest of creation is very faithful to the laws of nature. Only us we are above the law. That is a delusion. That is arrogance. That is ignorance. That is a misunderstanding. If you don't play by rules, you will be an exile. You will be evicted from the game of life. You will be expelled from the planet itself. And I think I'm afraid that we have come to that point. So the, the past 2000 years our history is not good. We call ourselves image of God but the actions carried out over the two millennia, it doesn't prove that you are the image of God. I'm very sorry to say that. And in fact, there is another dimension in human being. We can call it Imago Mundi. That means worldly man, the man of soil or man of earth the ephemeral wealth man. He is interested 
in buying and selling consumption and he is interested in the material things so that is imago mundi so now there is a conflict between the both imago dei imago mundi the image of god the image of worldly man so these are the two dimensions we have in human beings so today we have brought it out so clearly the image of mundi the imago mundi the worldly man we are doing it very well so as we know human beings today they are all mostly majority of them are imago mundi so in that dimension uh we can never find our relationship never find our proper place a proper relationship in creation so we are always in conflict with nature so worldly man uh, can never be an answer to all this problems today but imago dei the image of god he is a answer to all the problems and if you can bring that image out and if you can find that dimension and you can bring it out and we can employ imago dei in the future i think this world will be in a better place so far we have been struggling to bring that dimension actually when god created we were a image of god in the garden of eden but after the sin i think we lost it we lost the image of god and ever since we were thrown out from the garden we are looking for that image again and again and again the whole of human history is a search for that lost world the image of god so even today we are struggling to find out but it is there all this time it is hidden within you so look inside and that is the real human being there are two words in fact human and being human is the worldly part the ephemeral part that is the mundi so that is no good human human is worldly science call it homo sapiens but being part is very beautiful i think that is the image of god it is there being is something eternal being something uh, uh egalitarian with other creatures in being level there is no discrimination there is no man or woman or uh, english or uh, indian white or black in being level we are all equals not only with human beings we are also equal with creation even stone becomes a being even tree becomes a human even wind becomes a being so i think image of god has got an enormous amount of potentiality uh, in understanding our relationship with god and creation and with other human beings i think god has blessed all of us with that dimension of beauty with that, that dimension of life and uh, it is up to us to realize and uh, we have to usher the new era of uh, consciousness a birth of consciousness right now we are in the spirit of the age that is the birth of new consciousness everybody feels the same thing spirit of the age 
there is a common atmosphere, there is a common dreams and same aspirations and same goals and same uh, dreams. Uh, that is the spirit of the age. The whole world becomes one in our thinking pattern. So I think today the world has come to that point. So we should use this opportunity to bring the hidden dimension called the Imago Dei part, the image of God part. So bring it out and uh, God will be happy to see human beings have come to that understanding. I think that is the golden age of humanity. I think we are going to become fully human when you realize and when you exercise that part of Imago Dei. I think Imago Mundi we should say goodbye. So we have seen so much of misery. We have seen so much of suffering. We have seen so much of disappointments. People got hurt. And creation got hurt. And uh, it is not a good feeling. I think let us open our heart and bring that image, that godly person, that spiritual person. And probably we can find answers to all our problems we face in the 21st century and beyond. I wish you all good luck with the Imago Dei and God bless you and thank you.